Hello again everyone, Dr. Dan Bachman here. Today I want to talk about the two kinds of exercise that exist. You can, of all the different things you can do, sports and gym and running and all that, it all breaks down into two categories and those are strength exercise and endurance exercise. Strength is really heavy things that I lift a few times or I do a few times. Endurance is, it's pretty easy work but I do it for a long time. So as an example here, we'll just use running because running can be in either of those camps. So for example, a marathon runner is doing relatively light work <laughs> for a long time, you know, 26 something miles. Um, whereas a sprinter is doing the same activity, but really intensely over very short distances. Could be 40 yards, 100 yards, 250 meters. Now, yes, both of those are running, but a sprinter and a marathoner look very different, right? So a marathoner is gonna be thin and light and uh, no body fat and maybe petite. Um, the sprinter is gonna look like Hulk. He's gonna, I mean, he's gonna be an Adonis or she will be. I mean, very muscular. They look like uh, bodybuilders almost sometimes. So, I mean, think of, a, think of a Usain Bolt Think of versus the person who won the Boston Marathon. So they're very different looking. Now, why is that? Now, it's because of the kind of work they're doing. It is the same running, but the sprinter is training extremely high loads over very short times. Um, whereas the marathoner is doing very light loads for a long time. Um, and the muscles that do those things develop and adapt to the kind of work you give it. So the um, endurance muscles tend to be longer, leaner, and, and, uh, and the sprinter muscles or the strength muscles tend to be bulkier and bigger in size, hence the, uh, the appearance of Usain Bolt being jacked, right? Now, we need both kinds of exercise, uh, meaning we need to be able to um, lift an occasional heavy thing like a 50, 50 pound dog, bag of dog food, right? Or carry groceries to the car, or walk up you know, stairs carrying you know, when you're moving your household. We also need to last all day. So we need, we need to be able to walk around and do shopping and pick up our kids. So therefore, any good exercise regimen needs to include both. And it's pretty easy to mix and match. And we'll go more into what builds, how to build your own uh, exercise regimen. It's quite simple. You have tons of options available to you, but try to mix and match. So for example, don't be just a runner. Running is fantastic. It's good for your entire body. It uses all your joints. It's great for cardiovascular system. Um, uh, but it's just one thing. And the other thing is things like running, swimming, and biking, those are all great sports, but they're all straight line sports. Meaning to do them well, you're only using the muscles that propel you forward. You're kind of intentionally neglecting the other muscles um, to make your running more efficient, which is fine, but you gotta round out that movement. You gotta make sure your body's prepared to protect itself in all different kinds of things, not just one thing. So try to mix and match. And I always say there are way too many fun exercises or fun activity things out there to pick something you don't enjoy. So if, for example, you don't like running, don't force yourself to do it. I mean, f pick something else that's fun. Join a kickball league or uh, play badminton or volleyball or swim or bike or you, if you want, you can get in the gym, get on the elliptical or something like that. Mix and match, find a, find a grouping of things that, s that you can do semi-regularly. I mean, up to daily. Um, plug that in and see if you feel better, function better, sleep better, those kinds of things. So anyway, two kinds of exercise, endurance and strength. We need them both. Um, make sure to incorporate some of each into your week and uh, hope, hope that's been helpful for you guys. If so, subscribe below. If you have a question of your own, leave it down in the comment section. I would love to answer that with a personal video for you. Until next time, see you guys.